If you learn anything at Stossel U, it should be that the best type of government is limited government. These students understand that. Why don't other people get it? How can we convince them? Kathy Reisenwitz and Julie Borowski say they know how. Julie has a YouTube channel called Token Libertarian Girl. Kathy is editor of a blog called Sex and the State, which is a cool title. <laughs> All right, so Kathy, you say to open other people's minds, libertarians should check their privilege. What does that mean? Unfortunately, libertarianism is overwhelmingly dominated by uh, straight, uh, middle-income, well-educated white men. And so, uh, as the I'm, overclass, <laughs> right? And so, I want to figure out how can we make libertarianism, if not appealing to other people, um, because that demographic is decreasing as a percentage of the population. Um, at least get people not hostile to our ideas. There are certain things that you can't know on the basis of who you are. In order for you to really understand what, for instance, discrimination against for me men is like, I'm going to have to check my female privilege and listen to their experiences. So for women, we should talk about things like making birth control available over the counter. Absolutely. For blacks, ending the drug war, allowing school choice. For Hispanics, opposing E-Verify, which would require employers to get permission from a government database before they hire anybody. Like, just a story from my own personal life, uh, I used to be prohibitionist, and it was because it really had genuinely never occurred to me that per police were using drug laws to uh, gather armed SWAT teams and burst down doors and carry people off to prison, and disproportionately people who don't look like me. This seems like a reasonable argument to me, Julie, and you don't buy it. Well, for me, the main component of libertarianism is individualism. We want to maximize freedom for every individual. What I've noticed with the privileged crowd is it's very divisive, it's negative, it's class warfare, it's jealousy. And this check your privilege expression is a leftist college expression. I, well... <laughs> You've heard it too much? Personally, I do not like the term check your privilege because I read YouTube comments and a lot of people say check your privilege. I've never seen someone say, oh, you make a good point. Maybe I should check my privilege. People get defensive over it, and rightfully so, because someone's making a predetermined judgment about that person. I think it's downright rude. And Kathy, it is not nice to divide people into categories. We're all individuals. Absolutely. Unfortunately, the reality is that um, racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia exist. I think that without acknowledging the real inhibitors to individual liberty for certain identities, that we're going to be kind of hampered in our ability to truly, as in my experience, um, advocate for them effectively. I gotta say, as I look around here, I see disproportionate white men in ties, even bow ties. They just look like the overclass. I would think this is a turnoff for lots of people. There's a lot of white men here. I would say it has more to do with libertarianism being a bit nerdy than, than anything else, to be honest with you. And I'm a nerd myself, so I can say that. <laughs> All right, well, all this is food for thought. Uh, audience, I want to ask you, whose argument is better? Who was more persuasive? Let's have a vote. Who sides with Julie, who says we should not argue by sex, race, and ethnic group? <laughs> who sides with Kathy and says we should? Fewer hands, but more noise. Anyway, I think you both make good points. Thank you, Kathy Reisenwitz and Julie Borowski, and thanks to all of you for attending Stossel U. That's our show.